Hey guys! In today's lesson, we are going to explain how to use the app to store AI vision games. Before this lesson, please play Spider Pi on flat and smooth surface. Spider Pi has been turned on. In this video, we take iOS user to control Spider Pi X example. Firstly, check whether to open Wi-Fi service and the GPS before trying the app. If you are an Android user, please do not forget to allow all the service for the app in your phone setting for the performance of SpiderPie. Now, open the app. We can find that this app interprets all Raspberry Pi products of our company. Choose SpiderPie in the menu, and then click the plus button to select the direct connection mode. It is the default mode of SpiderPie. SpiderPie is able to launch a Wi-Fi hotspot in the default mode. Now, follow the tips to connect. In the settings folder on your phone, choose Wi-Fi and select the available network, which has the first lattice HW to connect. OK, back to the WonderPi app after connecting Wi-Fi. The app will connect the device automatically. When the robot icon appears, it means that the connection is successful. Click SpiderPi icon to enter interface. The interface displays all AI vision gain. Module control will be demonstrated first. The remaining games will be demonstrated one by one. Click the game module control to enter the corresponding interface. We can see that on the left side is the control area of Spider Pi. The middle part of the screen is the real time image written by the camera and can also control the rotation of pen out. On the right side is the area to set parameters. Now, we make Spider Pi run and building action by app. SpiderPie has posture detection function, but it is closed by default. When open this function, it will detect SpiderPie's posture all the time. If SpiderPie is turned upside down 180 degrees, that is, the back is facing up, this function cannot control SpiderPie to move. You need to overturn it. We can see that it cannot be controlled now. The middle part of the screen is the real-time image returned by the camera. You can control the rotation of Pentelt. Please know that the server of Pentelt has limited protection. After turning to the extreme position, sliding the screen again will give vibration feedback. At this time, do not continue to turn for the servo protection to prevent it from blocking. On the right side, the height adjustment, you can drag the slider to adjust the height of posture. The speed adjustment, drag the slider to adjust the walking speed. Here, I will speed out the walking speed. If you want to take photos of current image, you can click the camera icon and then back to the main interface to track the photos. Okay, the next game is Romo Transport. Click to enter the game. As you can see, the first two legs of the spider pipe will perform a lift action. This game is similar to body Romo control, but has additional buttons of pick up and put down. Now, Take a look at the performance. I will control Spider Pi move forward in order to better pick the block up. Now Put it down.
Okay, next game is color recognition. Red is the default color in this game. When detect the red, spider pie will nod. When the green and blue are detected, spider pie will shake its head. You'd better start this game in solid color background for better performance. Okay, let's look at our count. Well, next game is Intelligent Life Following. Click it to enter the game. We can see the head of Spider Pie will move down. There are three colors black, white, and red to choose. Select the color and then Spider Pie will move along the specific color line. Here, we put a black tape on the ground to demonstrate. Okay, let's look at the performance. You can see the image returned by the camera. Next again is color checking. Click to enter it. This again we can choose green or blue as the tactic color. Then the pen tilt of Spider Pie's camera will check the color to move. Why the red color can't be chosen here? Because Spider Pie uses a wide angle camera. The servo on Spider Pie is red, which may be detailed. Therefore, we just have red and green available for better performance. Now, we take the blue ball as example. Let's look at the performance. Please know that do not move the ball too fast or beyond the recognized range. Okay, next game is face recognition. Click to enter it. After starting this game, SpiderPi will look around to search a humanoid face with 50 to 100 centimeters. It will wait to greet when the face detailed. Now, let's look at the performance. Next game is tag recognition. After clicking to enter it, we can see a prompt that the maximum recognition distance is 50 cm. SpiderPie will recognize the tag to execute the corresponding actions. Now, let's look at the performance. The last game is obstacle avoidance. Click to enter it. This game is mainly based on the glowing ultrasonic sensor. Here is to set the obstacle detection threshold. The minimal setting is 30 and the maximum is 60. This one is used to revise the RGB color. Okay, now let's look at the performance. This is the end of the video, thank you for your watching.